Today I will play with a little bit different saltwater battery. So, when you put two different metals in some salt water, then in this case you will create some really basic battery. But most of the time this kind of battery is not rechargeable. And for this reason the battery is not so interesting. But what happens if you put two carbon rods in some salt water and you also apply some power? Well, in this case on each carbon electrode will start to form some bubbles and these bubbles are hydrogen on the negative electrode and some chlorine gas on the positive electrode. And again this kind of device will also not be so interesting because you will create some chlorine gas and also the efficiency of this kind of device is also not so good. But what will happen if I separate that cell? That I will separate the electrolyte to get some analyte and catalyte. Then in this case I will get a little bit more interesting device, which also have a lot of attention among many researchers. So the basic design of this saltwater battery is to separate the electrolyte with some nephew membrane to get some analyte and catalyte. Because when this battery is charging up, then on the negative side of the cell will start to form some alkaline environment. And on the positive side of the cell will start to form some acid-like environment. Because the sodium chloride on the positive side will form into hydrochloric acid and on the negative side the sodium chloride will form into sodium hydroxide. And now I will make some really basic salt water battery cell with this design. Uh, so here I have my salt water. Here I use 100 milliliters of water and into 100 milliliters of water I add 4 teaspoons of table salt. And that's it. Also here I have some salt water. Then here I have two carbon fats. I also will need some current collectors which are these graphite plates. And really important some nephion membrane. So now I will put together some really basic cell so don't be surprised the power or the capacity of this kind of battery uh, at this moment is not really really good oh really important first I will measure the pH of this salt water. It's around around six. Yeah. Okay. That you will see also uh, the pH difference now and after charging. Okay. And yeah, that's it. So really basic made cell. So this one is the negative. 
side and this one will be the positive side. Now after 2 minutes of charging I will disconnect the cell from my power supply. First I will see what voltage I get. Uh, I charge the cell with 2.5 volts. Very nice. I will also connect some loud. Oh, a lot of power. And now, let's see what, what will be the pH difference between, uh, between the negative and the positive side of the cell. And yeah, uh, of course. So, this is the pH of the salt water. And after charging, on the positive side is some acid environment, which is some hydrochloric acid. And let's see the negative side. And yeah, I get some alkaline environment on the negative side of the cell. And now I will also make some salt water flow battery. To make this float cell, I will use these two plastic containers, which will serve me like electrolyte tanks. One will be for the analyte, the another will be for the catalyte. Then the cell I will make from these 3D printed parts. These two are the reactor plates. These two reactor plates I will fill with carbon fat. Then I will also use this titanium foil for the current collectors. The membrane, two pumps, and this will be the basic materials which I need for making some float cell.
Okay, the battery is ready. Now I need to fill these two containers with this salt powder. Now I will fill that cell with the salt water. And now I will also connect that cell to my power supply. At this moment I charge this cell and I will also turn on uh, the pumps. And this way I will leave that cell for about I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like this. After 10 minutes of charging I will disconnect that cell from my power supply. I will also turn off the pumps. Like so, and now I will measure the pH of each electrolyte. And of course, I get some acidic electrolyte here on the positive side and on the negative side I need to have some alkaline electrolyte. Oh, yeah, of course. Very nice, and the battery works really great. So, really interesting battery, and for now, that's it, and we see us in the next video. Bye.